Okay. Hi, everybody. I am Blake Cabot. I am uh, the owner of facepaint.com. And as always, I have Tamina. Uh, and she's a great artist, uh, fascinating <laughs> lady, and, uh, Thank you. and a really distinctive style, which I always enjoy. <laughs> so uh, with that said, uh, Tamina, take it away. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> um, so today we're doing, we're going to continue. Um, I think I did graffiti last time. So I want to start out with a little refresh of putting the urban character or street style character with a little bit of graffiti. So I'm going to make simple graffiti. We're going to do bubble letters, which is not so, not so stressful. <laughs> So we're gonna start with that. So usually I outline, but today I'm just gonna kind of put down color so that it'll be a lot easier and um, we won't take too much time outlining. So I'm gonna start with this little beauty for the cool looking teddy bear that I have. And I'm picking up just the yellow and orange and I'm gonna start like right here and we're just gonna map out the shape of his, you know, his head. Okay. Okay. Hello, Tennessee, driving home and from Tennessee to Cocoa Beach, Florida. Hey. Wow. <laughs> hey. Nice, welcome. So I'm welcome. just kind of mapping out uh, his face right here, okay. Not I like to use filbert brushes because they kind of just shape it a little easier. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with a lighter yellow mm -hmm. for the for the nose area. So you're the, known for your graffiti designs, right? Yeah, I'm known for like that kind of street art style. Mm -hmm. Um. And sometimes I put the graffiti, but mostly it's a street art style with the the kooky looking characters and stuff like that. And from those characters, they usually make stencils and stuff so that it'll be easier for people to try to do what I can do freehand. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I enjoy like um, putting the stencils out and making it easy for everyone. Um, so here I'm just going to put like Carolina. he has a little hello, has a little shirt on. And once again, we're just kind of mapping out a little bit of color here. Two-tone. I have light green and dark green. <clears throat> so going to go back to that yellow and orange and just give him. Hi, Kim. From the Berkshires. Hair. I know Kim's from the Berkshires. Go back to that filbert brush. Throwing stuff. <laughs> Trying to work fast because I want to get a couple of things here. In. I'm going back to that yellow and orange. Mm -hmm. And this is the body part, like the bottom half of his body. So we're just kind of mapping out where things are going to go. Okay. Just to make it a little easier here. So I didn't have to outline. I didn't have to do any of those things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give him a little hat using a filbert brush again, and I'm going to pick oh, up I'm yellow. I'm mean, going to pick up orange and pink. And so we already have two tone colors. So I'm just kind of doing a shape of his hat like this. I know it froze up. I hope it isn't frozen up on Facebook. I hope it didn't freeze. Give him a little nose. Okay. Okay, so same with the filbert. Um, I think I shared a picture where the, the word was dope, but my son said, no, mom, put drip. <laughs> so that means that, oh, you know, the fashion today is more or less drip than dope. So there dope, you go. Was, from, dope right. was from my time. <laughs> That's dope. Uh, Ole, so, uh, hola, España. Nice. Okay, and then we're just mapping out the word drip in bubble letter form. So we got that little, very simple little design layout. And then we're gonna go in with the black. If you have, um, if you have wolf for any outlining, any outlining thing, 
outlining black will be good. So just going to go and then you just where you do your line work. And you uh, know, what brand, brand of filbert is that? Uh, that filbert was, I don't know, like the white handle, like kind of clear handle. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. No idea is the correct answer here. No idea for that one, but I think you could get it at any face paint store. So with this, you don't really have to go through outlining everything, but if you could do it quickly, you could do that just to give the, you know, nice little detail to any little character idea. So I'm just trying to give you roughly an idea on how you can make something look pretty cool, fun for mm -hmm. any age. Um, So we're just gonna just make his little thing and meet up here. Okay. Gonna give him an over-exaggerated nose just for fun. And so my eyes, I kind of like, you know, he's he's unrealistic. So he's he's just a, like a stuffed animal character. So I make my eyes like one big and then I make one little smaller. So it just gives that little sassiness uh, feel. And it also gives that kind of street edge feel. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> here you could do oh, like a on the little, outline. Uh, what brush shirt number are you using? Um, I use a number two or a number one, depending on if I have time to. If I have time, I use a one. But if I don't really have time, I like to do a two or a three, so that it can go a lot faster. So um, a lot of love out here. Oh wow! Thank Those you guys. Are saying, "Hey, Tamina, love you." Thank you. <laughs> love you sis thanks for having me i'm just like trying to get as much little little characters here as i can so you guys can have fun with this like it's pretty much you can you know do all kind of things that you want to do here i'm just adding little 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 things on here that you know are fun for me mm -hmm. but you could figure out what's fun for you or what's quick like right here you probably could finish with the teddy bear, <clears throat> you don't have to, you know, do as much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you can keep that simple. I'm just gonna do the drip. So with this, you just remember as bubble letters like we did before. It's almost like, you know, if you have balloons to make it real simple, you could just do that kind of X thing in the middle and that gives you the impression that it's just um, mm -hmm. something there, but it's not mm -hmm. to make it go quicker. So just kind uh, of Facebook user saying that's some some kind of cute. <laughs> Thanks. And Barbara says, Tamina, you're amazing. Uh, thank you guys for the love. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I was asked to do this. Okay, so now my little highlights. So I put like little things to add to this character, like uh bigger and smaller, a little nick there, here, there. Um, I will say I will want my highlight to be on the right side. So I'm just going to put here. Mm -hmm. You don't want it everywhere. So you just um, put in certain areas. You don't have to outline the whole thing. It just gives just a little bit of pizzazz to your stuff. Uh, so awesome. This is a fun design. This is <laughs> it's so wrong. fun. Yes. And I so I want to just like, I don't want to take too much time in that. So that's pretty much the design so you know that i love my stencils and i can't walk away without doing them so i gonna put a few <clears throat> i'm gonna put a few little things here just to give it its, its edge too so i'm picking up blue i'm putting it on my stencil making sure i'm making sure it's you know sticky and not too wet i'm gonna pull out this stencil and i'm gonna put it in some areas here to give it that graffiti kind of urban style look. So we got a little of that there. Down here, I'm gonna make it um, like he has uh, the arrows coming. So that gives it that, that edge too. Got the little arrows. Um, I want some drip coming from here. I see that some areas are still wet, so you just got to watch what you're doing, but give it some drip because the word is drip. <laughs> you got to have drip. 
Gotta have some drip. <laughs> Gotta have some drip. Gotta have some drip. And then the last thing I'm gonna put is stars. Like I could do so much more with this, but um, as it comes to time, I don't want to get too crazy. Over the Moon Creations face paint says, you are amazing. Your line work is insane. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. I mean, yeah, you know, line work takes, it takes the practice. So you just have to keep, you know, like I was painting, well, back in the day, I was painting every day, every day, every day. I was painting on my face a lot so that I can just make sure that if I can do it on myself, I could do it on someone else. And, um, you know, that makes a world of difference when, uh, you know, a couple you questions. Uh, well, one yes, yes. Is uh, Frida, hi, Frida, uh, teacher on this class. Uh, always love seeing how you pull things together, Tamina. Uh, Frida! Th th this <laughs> Teddy is awesome. Reminds me of the other, the movie Ted. Yes, he's so cute. Like, um, I mean, this is done, but you could do so much more. I put like graffiti dots in this inside and stuff like that. And, you know, I did the splatter. What stencil did you use? Um, I was using all of the Leah stencils here for this. She has all of She made this one specifically for me. So I don't know if she has a smaller version. I asked her to do the smaller version Okay. Um, with the arrows because she's gotcha. cool like that. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so this was the first one. So I just wanted to kind of update you or refresh you on the, the, the graffiti, how you can add that as the right mm -hmm. touch. You could do this on the side of the arm and anywhere. And I'm telling you, everybody walks away and they're so happy and they're so proud and they love it. You just have to add a little couple of things to it. So that's the first one, you guys. Missouri. Yes. And so my that. next one is. Hello, to um, Mexico. I'm going to put this guy here. So my next one is, a lot of people know that I love my aliens. I have alien stencils. If you go to Topaz, you'll see all those cool little things and make it easy for you. Mm -hmm. But um, this one, I'm going to make this cute little one that I used to do when I'm out. Like, um, I, I teach a thing, Artmobile, in the summer with the kids. So I kind of did this thing, and I'm waving it like a little flag, and they loved it. So he's just the guy that I made up. Um, during one of those classes. So um, so I'm going to start by, I don't have to outline this either. Pretty much I'm going to kind of lay it out. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my alien dude. We're going to make him not the gray. We're going to make him the blues, okay? It doesn't have to be the grays. The grays are kind of, you know, they have stories about them. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we're going to make him blue. All right, so I'm just going to map out his large kind of weird shape head. And we're going to, you know, fill that in with the light blue mm -hmm. so I can, you know, even his way out. So he's pretty fun. And then <clears throat> we're going to put inspiring his little cheek. people, Tamina. <laughs> yes, inspire you to just try something different that they haven't seen. Like, you know, exactly. always try things new. That's what I've always done. And I get inspired by all of you guys, too. And then I go do some sketches after seeing what you guys do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can make things your own, too. So Hello, uh, Frida that. really inspires me. If Frida's here, she inspires me so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, can I do this? And so that's just his head and his neck. His neck can be longer, but you know that this is like the kids area mm -hmm. of their face. So you can't you have to watch how you're mapping it out because it's flat and you don't really can't really tell. So um, I'm going to use ah. right back at you. <laughs> That's my girl. All right. So, um, yeah. So now we're going to have him kind of nestled in a UFO. OK, so I'm just going to make it like the UFO shape is round. Right. We want to try uh, to, you know, I think it depends on your UFO. Yeah, exactly. They have the squares, the rectangles. We're making it round, okay? We're, that's okay. what we're doing. Okay, we we're going to just keep it like that. I'm good with that. <laughs> so, I mean, you could do anything for UFO. I'm doing this bright so you can see, you know, make it so it stands out more, you know? Uh -huh. um, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put, I always have, like, their hands creeping out. So, I'm going to have his hands kind of creeping here, like three he probably just only has two. Who knows what they have? But you can make stuff up. I mean, it's your you know, your imagination. An and they don't really. Uh, maybe they. Yeah. Exist, but I don't, I, like, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Think, they exist. They exist. Blake, they exist. Okay. I don't think so. 
I don't think so. <laughs> Aliens well, listen, are real. If, listen, if there was intelligent life on this universe, there's a lot of evidence that says there isn't. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So, um, the United States, dear God, <laughs> you're cracking me up. All right. So I'm going to put one little added thing here. We're going to put inside here. We're going to make some lights. You can put them different colors. I'm going to just use red. Um, you know, you could do green, you could do all sorts, but I'm just, I don't want to do too much. I want to make sure I get enough things here for you to guys that really have fun with things here. Mm -hmm. So that's the bottom of the ship. And then, so the fun thing with the kids like is when I, I put on a side, the blasting off. So they're like, the ship is blasting off. Yes, it is. So oh, uh, Kim says, check out the alien show on Netflix. Then you'll know how they blend in. Oh, they're everywhere. Hey, hey, for real. I actually, I watch all things alien shows. So I probably already watched it. <laughs> so I totally watch everything. All right. So here you're going to have it. I can't tell because it's flat, but you're going to have it like blasting off doing one of these kind of things. Mm -hmm. you know have some fun going like that and then from there this is where we get a little fun like this is what where i make it a little bit more street and urban and do crazy stuff with it all right so i'm going to this is not what you normally see on an alien but i'm going to have my alien rocking some a lot of discussion about number of fingers for an alien three fingers uh <laughs> easiness uh, four fingers is too many. Sometimes Simpson follow the idea. Definitely don't need four. Uh, keep it two or keep it three. I can see doing the shape like pizza. Interesting. Yeah. So we're going to have this shape. Oh, uh, hey. what one stroke is that? That, which one? The one stroke, the blue one that's right next to you. Oh, yeah. So I don't, oh, just... just like, I don't know who what it is. But it's like the galaxy one. I like that one. Okay, so um, from here, we have, we're going to go inside here and put like another shade of blue. show is called Resident Alien. Yes, I watched that show. <laughs> Resident Alien, definitely. Um, this is too wet right here. I don't know what happened there, but we're going to just go in here and fill this in. We're going to fill this in because... Sorry, guys. I don't know how this got wet. Got to that again. Fun, says Kim. Yeah, wait till we get him the... Okay, this is wet. I gotta figure something out. But yeah, Resident Alien, uh, I'm just like, yeah, they probably are. They're talking about all the different types of aliens, and I'm like, wow, I knew it. I knew it. So funny. All right. So here I'm going to um, put like, remember, I exaggerate the eyes, but his, his eyes are kind of hidden and they're like, they're like behind the glasses and he's peeking out. Let's, let's say it like that. He's peeking out a little bit like he's just too cool. Mm -hmm. So I have one of his eyebrows going up and then I have one of his eyebrows a little bit lower. So that just adds just a comedy or my little comical way of uh, doing things. So. Mm -hmm. um remember when you do your line work you know remember to do a thick to thin that makes it look so much better mm -hmm. um you know playing around with your line work and i'm like trying to think of all the things that i want to show you and do here and i'm rushing <laughs> it so okay. all right so you got his little neck he got his little fingers here. And you know, it is not easy working on these boards, you know, like really and trying to go fast because things are still wet and what can you do? All right, so I'm having like, you can see a little bit of inside of the ship. So you have the, the background just kind of like, you know, you can see the black in there. Okay, so it's peeking out from the ship. All right, so from here, we're gonna do the, the line work for the ship. Okay, and this is just, you 
got like one light here, two lights. These are little lights that's at the bottom. And then these are lights that are on it. I mean, you know, you can skip some of these. You don't have to do everything, but I'm just giving you some ideas on how you can do more. All right. And you can outline this. You can outline that where I have uh, it blasting off or you can kind of do, you know, me and my teardrops. I, 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 I'll, I'll attempt to do them for you, but I would probably not do teardrops. I'll probably just use a stencil and do something in there, but <laughs> just for the fun of it. You Why can the do heck not? Why the heck? <laughs> Why not? Don't 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 judge. So you can do the teardrops. You know, have them come like in here, and you can have them come this way. Um, you know, so just you could have fun with them. You know, I'm not a Marcella Bustamante or anybody, but I'm just showing you that you can you know do some fun things with it. Okay. Or make it decorative. Or you can leave it like that. Or you could do other things swirly twirly. So I mean, I'm just showing you that you could do that. Or add stencils, which I probably normally would do, but there's people that likes the swirls and twirls. So here you go with the highlights. You're putting them in um certain areas. I'm putting them on his shades. Um, I might put little dots there by his eye up there, put some highlights here. His little chubby cheeks um, here, the side of his hands. Put some on uh, the lights. Put some here. Right? Okay, right. so we got that little cool dude. And so to seal the deal, I'm um, going to add two stencils. I'm going to keep it so it's not too much. So two stencils. I'm using my... Paradise white, making sure it's not too wet, right? It doesn't want to be look too shiny. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm using Topaz Little Galaxy stencil, one of the ones that I think I helped design too, because I love the galaxy. This is still wet, so I can't go right there. So let's go here. So here you can do like, is that wet? I can't tell. Yeah, so here you could do like, um, you know, a little splatter here. Let's put some splatter. And then maybe, you know, down here. So just adding some texture. I like to add texture and a little bit of things to it. And then here, if I can get this galaxy in here. And you just kind of put it not on the eye, do it above the eye, but I can't really tell if I had a person here, it'll go above the eye. And then you could just figure out um, some fun things to do for mm -hmm. uh, for the splatter. Let's make this more rounded. Uh, uh, I'm going to, some Facebook users got to try to paint this alien dude. He's so stinking cute. He is cute. Like he's so cuddly. Okay. So he is so cuddly. He just, <laughs> and, and Jennifer says, love you. Yeah. So, I mean, you if you have bling here, you can put the bling. I wouldn't do the teardrops. That's not what I would do. But if you want to do them to show, you could do the swirly and twirlies there. Um, add a little texture, a little fun things on the side. He's blasting off. You can have it shooting. There's so many things you could do. This is just an yeah. idea to give you um, little okay. cool characters for fun. All right. Okay. So that You're a little one... ahead of schedule. You're uh, so uh, we've got uh, 36 minutes left. Hey, let's go. So <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. Yes. What I'm saying. All right. So um, this one is a little fun. We're going to keep with the galaxy theme since I am in there. So this guy, so I haven't been drawing it out. So, you know, a lot of my characters, I do put down the white when I can. And this one I have to. So we're going to do a spaceman. You know, you don't see spacemen all the time. Um, I figure her eyebrow will probably be lower. So if I overlap it, just know that you have to fit it, fit it in a top section of the head. So, so that I break. That was an awesome job. And uh, <laughs> bling, yes. Always All bling. right. Yes. Put the bling on that UFO. So this, I'm just doing a shape of a um, space head. It's just 
he has this helmet on. It's just kind of oval, you know, very, you know, it doesn't have to be all that. But so then I'm putting like the, the roundness. So you're just making a space helmet. Okay, so from here, he's kind of tucked away. It's just, it's just his shoulders showing right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have his hand or his mitten or his glove grabbing, pretty much grabbing the side of the eye, okay? Right. And so I'm making her imagine like her eyebrows lower. So this is where you fit like the little other little things that's on a, the space jacket um, so that I'll know. And then he's going to have like right here, his hand is going to be doing, you know, peace, man. He's saying peace to the aliens. So this is probably going to be the alien's buddy. Okay, sure. All right. <laughs> it's all love. It's all love. It's a yes. different species. You know, <laughs> everybody's got their own thing, but you know, it's all love. All love. Sp spacemen and aliens, they go together. You know what I'm saying? So you probably could put an alien on the other side of the face. So. <laughs> I mean, you can make this work. So just kind of map out, um, you know, how you want to place it. So that's the space guy. So I'm going to go so, back uh, with the space silver. effects. Branson said, I just did redid my website space theme. There you go. Hey, yeah, I love it. So I'm going to use that kind of galaxy um, type mm -hmm. colors again. It's like light blue, dark blue, purple. Purple, I'm going to put at the bottom and I'm going to put light blue at the top so we got a galaxy in his mass he's looking at space that's what he's doing okay you got to talk to yourself you got to tell yourself what you're doing like you're telling yourself what this means to you you're telling a story with your art you know what i'm saying nobody else understands the story but you so there's that <laughs> there is that <laughs> this was your vision Nobody can't tell you what to do. <laughs> no, that's what all always right. makes art interesting, right? It's just, it's not, you know, all you guys do different yeah. line work designs and you all have the same pressures of a bunch of kids kind of saying, I want whatever. And yeah, but, but you, you, but it's your expression. Uh, that's, that's the interesting part. And always is. It is. And then we always love when someone say, Hey, do your thing. Oh, you want me to do my thing? Oh, for real? Yeah, Can I got lower you. lower the board just a tad? Cause we're kind of missing the top. Oh, I'm sorry. Go. No, yeah. sorry. We're good. Yeah, but um, you have people say, um, when 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 you have people say do your thing, it it just makes it makes the world a difference. That you're just like, wow. Yeah, I get to just freestyle whatever I want. This is great. So I'm just filling in a white, and then I probably put a little um, some blue in here to break it up, mm -hmm. and then outline it, but. I mean, a space suit could be gray. It could be anything you want. I'm just using the white just so I can limit some of the color here. Okay, so I'm just keeping this like that. And then I'm going to go get some of this gray. But you can mix white and black to get gray. You know that I'm just trying to have everything ready so it could take less time. Um, put some gray in here, gray in here, and then I want to use some light blue for some of the shadows too. So I'm going to put where I want my shadows, I'm going to put the blue here. My nephew had this cool space dude on his shirt. I'm, I took a picture. I'm like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to redo that. <laughs> So you literally can get inspiration from anything. I look at t-shirts all nephews. the time. Yes, my nephews, my sons. Like I look at t-shirts all the time and I get so many um, ideas on things. So um, greeting cards. Um, yes. Um, when you were painting like this for someone, would you skip the outline sketch and go to the full fill before the outline or you always sketch the outline before? Um, it depends if I have time and I feel like I'm not going to map it out. Right. I will definitely do a quick sketch. I do a quick sketch. It'll be a very, um, very not so perfect version of it. And then I'll fill in with one strokes and stuff to make it go faster or fill birds or whatever can make it go faster. If I feel like I'm confident enough to do it, this is my first time doing this design. 
So I would, um, if I felt confident, no, I would not sketch it out. I would just go in with a one stroke that probably was white and blue or white and gray and just knock it out with that. I wouldn't need to do all of this, but as opposed for you to see the breakdown, I decided to do this. And this is the first time I did this, this design. So, um, I did it that way for you guys. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Jennifer says, I used to have an eight year old boy who described aliens he dreamed of. Uh, <gasps> he dreamed about for me to paint. I love the kid's imagination. Love doing aliens ever since. Oh yes. They can tell you what they want. Like they could tell you what kind of dragon, um, when I was at the fair, someone said they wanted a pink dragon. I'm like, I don't do pink dragons, but I did a pink dragon and I loved it. I'm like, dragons could be anything you want. And she yeah. loved it and she kept coming back every year. And Pilar says, loves it. Wow. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to just show you a quick version of this. And then I add a few stencils and I want to see if I can get another design in here. So inside um, his helmet, right? This is where you can have fun. I, because it's wet and stuff, I can't do too much, but um, to give you some ideas, maybe I can get a brush. So you can kind of, you know, if you know how to do the things, probably could use a toothbrush. I mean, I wasn't using a toothbrush until Mark Reed was like, to me, to use a toothbrush. Um, try to splatter on his you thing. You don't mess with Mark Reed. <laughs> and no, he told me to do it. I've been using toothbrush ever since. So you can just splatter the closer you get, the darker or bigger. So it's kind of give him the splatter effect inside there with just, um, you add more paint to make it like a little watery and then we'll get his little highlights and you know things like that so you could put a star stencil in there you could do um uh it's really so many things you can do here mm -hmm. okay and then do do a few highlights here so that it make it pop it won't look so dull so you got that that all right, so we got a little space guy. And then so the, to end this, we have a few stencils. So I'm going to have, I'm going to load up my yellow here just to, just any kind of, any yellow you have. And then I have this kind of shooting star one. And you just, you know, tap or you can slide it depending on how much time you have. Uh -huh. All right, got a little little shooting stars that's so cute and then that is adorable that is, is what adorable. it is that's adorable uh, <laughs> i, I want to put this here but it's still wet so i might not be able to but um so i'll put a i'll put a planet like here where so you could just use a you know a dauber to do the planet uh, shape right face fx branson's going to be at max i'm going to be at max uh selling craze fx you're going to be Ooh. at Max teaching? Not this year. I wanted to. It didn't work out. But yeah, not this year. I hope I can get back to Max. I did it last year and it was amazing. You guys came to every class and my class was full. Thank you so much, you guys. All right. So um, let me see. Cool I'm kind of just using different things for planets. So we got a little planet back there. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what Facebook what user says it's great seeing people on the yearly and watch them grow up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. That is cool. All right. So you probably could put more planets, but I am. Why? I Why put more planets? How many you planets probably are there? You know, you there probably can. You could put. I was growing up, there are eight now. <laughs> I mean, how many planets do you really need? <laughs> You could like three. You need three, but for for this, I'm just doing one because I'm okay. running. I don't want to run out of time. But so you can make it like cool, you know, kind of ring. You know, you can do whatever you want here. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna add a little. Yeah, so cute. So this is something totally the kids will love, and you know, do if you want to do your little shooting star burst. Um, that's another little cool thing you can add in where the gaps are and 
you know, little the the dots big, small, and you know all that kind of stuff. So you, I mean, this is like a really quick design you could do. It's fun. It's cool. It doesn't take too much time. So I'm giving you some quick ideas. Fun for the boys, fun for the girls. Um, another version of doing some type of spaceman. So that's okay. that. Who doesn't like spaceman? So how much time we have? We've got um, 25 minutes. Oh, shoot. We've got forever. Wow. Let's get this one. <laughs> I'm like trying there to knock go. it out. Literally, I got to get to one more. I saw the movie and I have to, I had, I had this idea in my head and I have to get it out. So please let me get this one more in. But no, this is not the one more. The one more is after this. Okay, so something like this, I, I had an idea, um, you know, because people are doing bunnies and stuff. Um, I do like bunnies. I think I did a space bunny last time. This is not a space bunny, but this is <laughs> a sassier bunny. I don't want to say angry bird bunny like angry bird, but definitely. There were a lot of feedback from the last one. You're amazing, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And vivid, I love and, and it. Paint FX Branson says vivid gleam unicorn would be great on that oh yes i'm telling you like really like i have my vivid glitter palette but i i don't want to smear it while i'm doing this because it's staying wet because it's on a board but i definitely add the glitter yeah i'm at the glitter glamper at the minnesota state fair so we bring the glitter and the bling so you know awesome. i love glitter guys you know i love glitter no i uh, I, I get that i get that <laughs> You can't tell because I don't add it here, but I'm telling you, I love glitter. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to do a creepy uh, bunny. I mean, like creepy, sassy, whatever kind of bunny. I did it, okay. a, a scary snowman version of this at Max. So uh, I'm Heather just... says, my son loved you at the Minnesota State Fair. You're amazing. Oh, no. Nice. Thanks. Come back again. We're back. We're back. <laughs> And, so and um, you says, asked me about out outlining. No, I'm not going to outline this. I'm just going to try to map it out because I did do this design at um, Max. So I'm just going to try to see how to position this on the face here. I did it at Max on a live person. This is kind of <laughs> not a live person, but uh, we're going to try to do our best. So I'm using um, this kind of pastel -y, color like yellow and greens from Elodie mm -hmm. and um she's awesome and amazing and so I'm just gonna try to wrap this around so it's like it's like the bunny is okay it's like the bunny is gonna eat her eye okay Melissa says yay creepy bunny which says more about Alyssa than maybe we want to know <laughs> Uh, sorry this uh, is yeah you need creepy bunnies like they're not all nice just like you got creepy you know long time clown. ago uh um, <laughs> i think mateo did a creepy scary bunny because i joked with him that he couldn't make a scary bunny and he really made a scary bunny it was terrible. oh i don't want to make it that scary because mateo will knock it out i'm not trying to do all that no, i'm no, just he, he's just he's crazy he's just crazy yeah yeah I, yeah um, i know like i'm not trying to do no we're not doing mateo bunny we're doing tamina's bunny because uh okay. it's creepy but it's not that creepy we don't want to scare the kids <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> we don't wanna... <laughs> all right so i'm making his ears kind of go this way I, I'm, it's hard to see on the face here but um so i have the hands is gonna come here like it's clawing the face and then um, you have hands here, like is clawing, um, clawing the eye. So, okay. So we have that, and it's almost like you do the designs where you have the claw that is actually grabbing the eye, and you don't have. Um, you could do this like a dinosaur. So many animals you can put in a place of this, but we always we all do some type of version of something clawing the eye. I mean, that's too wet clawing the eye so you know you can exaggerate these because scaring claws. the heck out of children it can be a lot of fun that's right yeah it can but not the parents and when you do it they're like why did you get that i'm like uh, well this is their time to have says, fun. practice boards are amazing and tough at the same time you are yes they it. are you can tell you, you can see them. i'm like i'm having a hard time and I'm Shavita like, I'm says, Tamina Muhammad is awesome. 
Oh, thank you guys. You're, oh, I'm, I'm going to cry. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I love what I do. All of you guys that know me, you know, I love what I do. So I love sharing. I love putting stuff out there that is uh, different. Um, you know, I love, you know, being inspired by you guys and inspiring too. I love everything about it. All right. So this is his creepy, he has creepy pink weird eyes. So I'm doing one bigger, you know, that's my signature. I over exaggerate. Um, and then I'm putting a little pink inside his thing. So I don't have the stencil to do like scales and stuff. I mean, you can get crazy and do all of that, but I'm not going to do all of that. Okay. And in here, I'm going to have, like, uh, his mouth kind of open. Okay, just that. And we're going to give him, give him, like, some rosy cheeks. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want him to have rosy cheeks. <laughs> why not? I mean, <laughs> like, he's, I don't he's think creepy. There's a why, here. why do you want to give him rosy cheeks, cheeks when he's angry? Like, he's creepy. He's not really angry. He's just like sassy oh yeah so the fun thing is i'm adding here is um oh here yeah i'm adding a something that's out of the norm i'm gonna put a little carrot in here mm -hmm. so he's holding and gripping this carrot and he's about to bite your face so it's like he's double hungry he has a carrot but yeah he wants your face too that's just cold. That's just cold. <laughs> that is cold. You got enough. That's, like you got your carrot. Like, cold. why do you want my face? Why do you want yeah. my face, man? That's, that's <laughs> rough. Everybody mm -hmm. wants the face. All right. So now I'm gonna just start outlining. Um I don't I mean, I don't have too many stencils to get crazy with this, but we're gonna exaggerate his angry eye to make it go up like this. And then you give them a little edge. Okay. Give them an exaggerated eyebrow. And you probably could do fun things inside there. I just, um, I'm just not going to do that, but. Okay, he's coming, he's coming alive. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> Double He's, hungry. Protein and veggies, says Christine. Oh yes, we need our Only protein now. We need we need our protein. Daddy, that's scary. <laughs> okay, kind of have his mouth doing that kind of thing. Okay, and so you got to make sure you try to position this to work. Um, for certain foreheads, if they don't have the forehead for this, you might want to revise revise your design. Mm -hmm. This is for the ones that have the forehead for you to use, and you could kind of get it to map out like you needed to. Okay. All right, so we got his crazy teeth here. Mm -hmm. Make it like that. You probably could put teeth down there, but I don't I don't really want any teeth down there. It's scary to have teeth there. You know, it just is. <laughs> Hello, Mexico. I'm like, yeah, you don't want it. You don't want it there. I wouldn't. I just want two creepy teeth. But like I said, it's your version of what you want to do here. And it's true. Um there are there are um cool things that you can use stencil wise, like there's like um like a tear like some like something is ripping you could use that for the claws like scar in the face but if you know how to do the technique of scar in the face you could just use that you know your own technique you don't have to use stencils but for those who um can't freestyle things um that's what the stencils are for so um yeah so you can do a few lines so you know that it's a carrot, you know, just some lines, having fun with your lines, going in a flow too. And I'm looking for a wide. Okay, then from here, you're gonna do your little highlights here. Let me get my white. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put in the eye here. This brush is so soft. Okay, and then the eye here, I'm gonna put little saturated highlights here. Highlights are the fun part because you're like, oh wow, I didn't know you were gonna do that. And you make it pop, and then they're just like, wow. And you're just like, yeah, that's what I do. Bring the fun, right? Exactly. And then you can put the highlights here and in the white. In the mouth. All right, so now this is where you can be a little creative. I don't have all the stencils lined up that I wanted to, but you can, you know, you can right here, you can have stuff dripping. You know, you can drip some blood here. Like, <laughs> I don't know, he already digged into somebody's face already. I don't know. So you can kind of get crazy with something like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the crazy, crazy um, rabbit. Um, you can add more stencils. You can add, you know, texture and everything. Um, but that is that for that. Okay. okay. Love the creepy bunny right up my street. Yes. You could do so much more. This is just giving you some, some, some ideas. It makes you, it makes you just hype to want to do something. You just want to do something. Want to do something. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a fun design that I had in my brain. I don't know how how it might come out but i had to get it out my brain okay so i went to the movies and i saw kung fu panda i loved it so much Most um funny too yeah i saw that kung fu panda and i loved it so much so we're gonna do a kung fu panda type design that is um simplified for someone who wants to try to do it or if they ask oh uh somebody uh color each face is one to see the bunny again Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the bunny. Yep. So we have, um, he's holding a carrot and you can have the carrot like angled. I, you know, I can't really tell on the face, but it probably would flow more around. You can make the carrot bent to go with the flow, but it's just kind of just flowing around one eye. So he is grabbing the eye or eating the eye bet he is. yeah and you can put texture too put texture in here all kinds of stuff put texture in you know i have the scales and stuff but i don't have it out but put that in his hands and you can bring this so much more to life you know put color inside the eye um yeah so it's a lot of stuff you can do i'm just giving you just brief brief quick ideas and then you just go and do more all right so for this one kung fu panda um I love Kung Fu Panda. So I'm going to just start going in with just mapping out his face here. Okay. And a lot of his face is going to be hidden. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just, it's going to be his hat is covering most of his face. And people were like, I can't do his eyes. I always find a way to not do things like not do hands. I cross him. Mm -hmm. um not do face i put hats really really low um um I, I i find ways to get around what i feel like i'm not comfortable with and that's how i do it mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna do his hat um with the two colors here i'm gonna pick up a little bit of orange and i'm gonna pick up the yellow okay and then I'm just going to kind of put it in that angle of that, that style hat. So we're going to, you know, map out that the hat is going to go probably about here this far. And then I want it to go about here. Uh, okay. Face FX says, so smart, you do what you're good at. <laughs> yes, and, you do. Uh, Facebook you have to. Been washing dishes so it's a good way to keep me washing them and not find the couch you've been washing dishes <laughs> for a while this this webinar has been going on for 50 <laughs> minutes so that's that's a lot of dishes that is a lot of dishes i'm like what okay 
I'm picking up white hair too, but it's okay because we're just gonna go do detail. So, and with me, like if I'm on a job and I feel like, oh, my colors are mixing. Oh, I always have another way to to kind of do things. So, mm -hmm. you know, even if one of your ideas fell or you feel like it didn't work out too much. There's always other ways to do it. Just like I'm a big person, yeah. I'm a big fan of Bob Ross, where mm -hmm. he's like, there are no mistakes, you there know, and no you mistakes. can make, yeah, you can make them into, and I've done it like right there on a the spot. So you can, if you have, if your mind is, you know, you have a creative mind and um, you can just make things work for you. And then mm -hmm. most of the time, nobody will know because you're the only one who know how the design was supposed to go anyway. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, did the bunny have a nose? Somebody asked. No, me. no, he did not. But you can That's, put a nose. It was more focused nose. on his creepy eyes and his teeth. That was more of the focus for the bunny. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, from here, we mapped out his hat. And then um, I actually love his little cape. I'm going to pick up this. So we're gonna use a couple of colors in here to get different shades in the, the cape part. And so I'm just gonna kinda, kinda wrap it around here. Okay. Okay, it's kinda hugging him. So mm -hmm. that's where, you know, the face gets kinda funny. So you just kinda have it hugging. And then here, I'm gonna do similar to that blast off. So I'm gonna kinda have it go here and then around, and then if I want to add a little more color in there, here and around just to give a two-tone. And if you want to get fancy, you can do, you know, some fancy at the bottom. So kind of like that. Okay. And from here, you can start outlining with with the black, my black is getting goopy. Why? Sorry, guys, my black is getting goopy. Oh no! <laughs> and this is wolf black, wolf black. Everybody know how it is. I'm just like, why? Why you want to do this right now? All right. <laughs> so the fun part, I love this hat. So I, my main focus is the, the hat. So you want to come and you're making this hat. To, and you can tell like my black is acting weird because I have to keep dipping. Okay, so you can tell that this hat is going to be. Left. What do you say? Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yes, plenty of time. All right, so you can tell that this black is uh, acting up, but we're going to go ahead and do. And it's really, really low, this hat, okay? So you can see a little bit of the black here behind it. So you'll see a little bit of the black here behind it. And so we're going to get the shape of his face. And here is where it kind of goes in that muzzle, mm -hmm. okay? See, I'm breaking things down in shape, so hopefully you can visualize how it's supposed to go. So all these shapes should be very easy to, you're gonna give him like a little little expression like that, just nothing too, 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 too difficult. We're gonna have a little bit of his eyes showing here and a little bit of it. It's not really his eyes, like the underneath the black part. So his eyes are above, but... Mm -hmm. But that's just a little bit of it showing, showing. All right. So then we're gonna have we're gonna um then we're gonna have like this kind of going in, I don't wanna say a V shape, but we're gonna have it going in. You know, you gotta follow the shape, follow the shape of the nose and everything. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. And so you can kind of have it ah, too much black, something like that. And then you go here. 
This is probably what I would have done with the last off one, but you're just kind of following the waves. I kind of do that for my unicorn hair too. And then so his, you're going to have a line come here for the hat. And then you can have fun doing something like that there. Mm -hmm. And then so that's Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. So then the top, this is when you're gonna do more of the line work and my black is acting weird. I'm gonna have to use something else. Don't judge guys, don't judge. The black don't, is acting. Don't, don't judge. Don't do I it. I picked up another black and this is working out better. That there wolf stinks. Sorry, wolf. Um, but yeah, so Most just good for people. Now. they're good people. Yeah, they are good people. It's they're just they're black. It's they're just, just they're black angry. sometimes. Just they're black sometimes it gets on my nerve. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so then um for here, just gonna go with gonna go with some highlights here. So on the nose, put a little bit there for here. Make it fun. Okay, these are just, just fun ideas, guys. Fun ideas with a little little urban feel. So a little little edginess, which my my uh, designs usually always have. They little edgy, little sassy. Um, it's just that's what it is. No one's All right, uh, so we... great kung fu panda design. Uh, Facebook user says, I don't think I've ever painted it before. Anybody painted yeah, uh... it? Yeah, I mean, it, it'll, be, it'll be fun to do. So I'm going to add a few um, fun things stencil wise. So, you know, kung fu panda is all about fighting. So we got this pow, pat, pow, pat, you know, pow kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, which is really fun. Uh, you can probably do some graffiti dots in there. Um, probably do some graffiti dots in here. Um, make it a little edgy. Oh, this is a fun one. I love it. I love it. If I could just get the right green. Mm. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try to pick up um, this one green that has a variety of green in it. And so this is such a fun one. And you know, it's Kung Fu Pan and they have those kind of cherry blossom trees. You probably can use this and put cherry blossoms on the other side. So this is just the idea. I'm just gonna have this kind of shooting up here and then you probably can have fun with, you know, making a cherry blossoms coming sure. on the other side. But. Mm -hmm. If I had time, I would do all the fancy stuff, but I'm just going to do like, put don't, that don't, little do tree. don't do it. <laughs> put that little, put that little thing right there. Wait, which one sure. is it? Oh, I might be able to do something. Let me see. Okay. Well, well while we're here, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. I'm going to, that's the only stencils I'm going to use, but maybe I'll see if I can add some maybe blossoms, like little flower. So just like, okay, I don't usually do this with this, but you can, you know, add little blossoms here. Don't judge, guys. I know how to do these blossoms. It's not on the board, okay? Not on the board. Okay, so you can do something like that. Mm -hmm. Keep saying don't judge. <laughs> but they're judging. You can feel I know, it. You can feel I know. it. They're watching. I already know how it is. I already know how it is. I saw her mess up. It's all good. We all Kung mess up Kung Fu sometimes, Panda but guess has what? Hans Zimmer music. No kidding. I uh, said that. Double dip petals do not work on the board. It's true. They don't. But look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and outline them, you know, and mm -hmm. do a little outline work. And you make it, make it cool and make it, you know, make it your own here. Okay. Okay, we're just wrapping this up. Wrapping yes, we up. are. We'll finish this up. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so you got that, and you can put the little swirlies. You could do anything like that, and then I think we's done. Little, it sure is. Put your little dots inside. Awesome. I'm not putting there because it's wet, but, but yeah, see that? Awesome! Cute. Awesome! Thank you as <laughs> always, Tamina. You are the best. Thank the you guys. <laughs> so um, much fun. And uh, thank you guys for joining us on all thank the different you. platforms. Really appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Uh, so for it sure. was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, next week on April 1st, we're going to have Wendy LaBelga. It is not going to be trick or treat. Um, and uh, it's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And then following week on April 15th, we're going to have Amanda Careford at 5.30 p.m. Um, okay. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. And thank you. Thank you. you. Have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye.